Good evening to the stalwart few who have remained. Um, as Marion said, uh, I'm Fiona McLeod and I am working in the Department of Epidemiology and Public Health, which is located in the School of Medicine. Uh, I actually don't have a background in public health per se, my background is in general practice, but in 2007 I was asked to take on and develop the new, relatively new at the time, undergraduate public health and health promotion uh, degree in the department, which I agreed to. And over the years of trying to develop the program, which if we refer back right to the beginning uh, where Betty was talking about integrative learning, one of the difficulties in an institutional context is the silos of knowledge that develop. And the BSc in Public Health and Health Promotion is by definition an interdisciplinary degree. And I became interested in trying to operationalize that interdisciplinary nature more. So I decided, having done my, uh, my postgraduate certificate and my postgraduate diploma, um, that I would take on a master's thesis and I would use as my topic of research interdisciplinarity in an undergraduate public health degree. And a little more background to this. Firstly, one of the reasons that interdisciplinarity I think is very important in public health is that by nature it's a very dynamic discipline uh, seeking to address new challenges to the public's health as they emerge over time and therefore practitioners of public health require an increasingly broader array of knowledge and skills and these cut across disciplinary boundaries. The second rationale, if you like, for looking at interdisciplinarity in this context is that despite an increasing number of institutions internationally offering undergraduate programs, these are standalone undergraduate programs in public health, there remains very little research into their interdisciplinary teaching and learning ethos, process or outcomes. So the aim of my research, which I'm presenting today, um, was essentially to evaluate the interdisciplinary nature of the BSc Public Health and Health Promotion in UCC. In some ways, I was sort of killing two birds with one stone by performing this research for my masters, which I wanted the results of to improve the development of the program that I was running. And to this end, I posed two research questions. Firstly, whether students make connections between disciplines, the disciplines they're presented to in their study, within their studies, and also whether there is any evidence that students integrate what they learn into a more holistic view of public health. In other words, do they assimilate the knowledge from all these different disciplines they're exposed to into, if you like, a greater whole, which is in fact the discipline of public health? The research, I would argue, that I'm presenting is firmly embedded in the scholarship of teaching and learning. You've heard already um, from Betty at the beginning uh, about Boyer and the scholarship of integration. And this research is coherent with the scholarship of integration where we try to make connections across disciplines. Uh, Niall talked about the teaching for understanding model in some detail. And I actually use that in the research. I use this as an overarching framework and applied it to the conce concept of interdisciplinarity in the curriculum of the degree to examine the relationship between interdisciplinary thinking and student understanding, as well as hopefully I was hoping to provide insights to myself on the design of the curriculum going forward. This research that I'm presenting to you examined, the inter examined interdisciplinarity from a student standpoint, and I want to say that um, at the outset. Uh, it took place in the academic year 2011-2012, so relatively recently. 
Action research provided the framework for the research or learning by doing. And I adopted a mixed methods approach using a quantitative cross-sectional survey. And I delivered a questionnaire directly to 103 of the 117 undergraduate students on the program in that year. And I also delivered it online to 92 graduates from the years 2004 to 2008. Just very briefly, 11 questions on the questionnaire were formatted as statements using a Likert response scale with two open response questions at the end. So quite a short questionnaire, remembering that we're asking students to complete this uh, at the end of a, a teaching session. The qualitative element of the research were two focus groups with final year students, one group of seven and one group of six, and I facilitated this myself. So on to the more interesting things, the findings. Well, starting with the quantitative findings, reflecting my science background, there were statistically significant differences between the program years in how much students integrate material for examination purposes and how they perceive their ability to integrate across, across disciplines. And as students progress through the program, they are more likely to draw on knowledge which of course they have more of, we hope, as the years go by, from different disciplines for examination purposes. And they also recognise their ability to integrate knowledge across the different disciplines they study. And I'll just show you uh, these two graphs which demonstrate this, I think, very clearly. Question five on the questionnaire stated, I draw on knowledge from different disciplines when doing class tests and or, and or exams. And this graph shows the percentage of students from first year to fourth year responding that they agree or strongly agree to that statement. And I think it's fairly clear that as the years progress, the students are more students are responding that they agree or strongly agree to this statement, meeting about 75% by fourth year. On the other side, in question six, the statement was, I'm able to integrate knowledge from the different disciplines I study. And again, we see a trend from first year up to, in fact, in this case, third and fourth year of students agreeing or strongly agreeing to this statement, reaching 90% by third and fourth year. Some other, the other quantitative findings included, while not statistically significant, there was also an observable trend in how much students relied on lecturers to help them make connections. And this was particularly prominent in first year. And I'll return to that a bit later on. Another interesting finding was that as students progress through the program, they also seem to become more, become more aware of an emphasis on the learning styles of analysis and application. And I notice sitting here that you will have a copy of Declan Kennedy's book on learning outcomes. And in that, the learning styles are in um, the, the Bloom's triangle. And the learning styles of analysis and application would be kind of middle level learning styles. In fact, there was a statement relating to synthesis and evaluation, but it didn't produce any particular trends across the years. Now, the qualitative findings. The open survey questions provided some useful insights, including some evidence that students do link different modules, and the reasons for doing this vary according to themselves, with their own maturity and increasing knowledge base, unsurprisingly. The students in first year were the least able to appreciate that the BSc enabled disciplinary integration. And very interestingly, I think the view of some graduates, remember they answered the questionnaire online, that they were able to see the relevance of integration only after graduating. And I think that's quite an interesting area I would love to research a bit more because it does show the interface between interdisciplinarity and integrative learning. And it also as shows the suggestion that somehow we are facilitating our students to become lifelong learners. The focus groups provided rich and varied insights into both the structure and functioning of the, the degree from a student perspective. 
and eight themes emerged from the analysis relating to teaching input. And of particular interest to me were two definitive themes uh, looking at lecture impact on student learning. One was positive and one was unfortunately negative. Uh, and I think that would be a very important area. And we heard from one of the previous uh, speakers talking about this in relation to success and failure. Here I'm talking about lecture impact in relation to students developing their thinking in an interdisciplinary fashion. Uh, themes relating to program design and delivery, to student development, that's academic and personal, and of course post-graduation challenges. Now at this point yesterday, I was trying to think to myself, I have, there is so much information uh, coming from the focus groups, how I could possibly present to you any of the findings this evening. And I decided yesterday, I put my hands up and said, I can't. So then I thought, what am I going to do? So I, said, I thought to myself, I will return to the students and ask them. So what I'm going to sh show you are some pieces from different students relating to these four areas. And in these, they explain, I think, some of the themes and some of the findings of the focus groups very clearly. For example, in terms of teaching input, one student said, like if I had to pick out one thing, one criticism for the four years, it would just be that the lecturers from the different disciplines don't understand the course and they don't know what we know. And this was something that came out quite frequently in the focus groups and as, a, as I was listening to it, I became aware that it was almost as if the students, by recognising the uh, the, the failings of their lecturers in one sense were demonstrating their own understanding of interdisciplinarity and interdisciplinary think thinking. In relation to program design and delivery, uh, one student said, I think by third and fourth year you could definitely see the integration more. You don't even notice yourself becoming more orientated towards health. It becomes what you're surrounded by. And if I took anything away from this research, that last phrase, it becomes what you're surrounded by, is something that has always stuck in my mind. Uh, I think it is a very intuitive description of perhaps what integrative learning is all about. It is what you become surrounded by. In terms of student development, one student made this comment, which I thought was, uh, I'd share with you. They said, a lot of our modules in the last few years have been kind of teaching us how to critically analyse stuff and thinking critically. I think this helps us understand how the different modules integrate. And what I think is important, important in this little piece is that this student has moved from merely talking about what interdisciplinarity is to the how. Because in, she's, they've moved the goalposts really in saying, by helping us understand how the different modules integrate, they're now talking about the process of interdisciplinarity and how to reach it. So in terms of the uh, degree program, this is very useful information. And in fact, we have enacted uh, on this to try and make critical analysis a much more explicit part of our teaching input, as described to some except by a previous speaker. Lastly, the post-graduation challenges. Well, one of the issues with these new uh, public health degrees is we don't really know yet what these public health graduates look like or where they're going to work. Um, and this is reflected to some extent in this student who said, you know what frustrates me is when someone asks you what you are and you're like, oh my God, are you a health and safety person? And then they went on to list a number of other professions, including a nurse. However, other students are quite happy with graduating with such a broad um, perspective. As one student said, I'd be quite happy to walk into the workplace in the morning, I think. Now, they went on to say that one of the reasons for that was because they felt that you, when you go to work in a different environment, you have to learn on the job. So, those are the student perspectives, just trying to give you a little taste of what came out of the focus groups. So what next? 
already there's been some enactment on the basis of the information and I just want to share with you one piece of research um, that I have taken forward for my own interest uh, in the first year experience and if you call the research findings have indicated that first year students are less able to integrate their knowledge and they rely more on the lecturers to make the connections. So to look at this and to improve that situation for our new public health students, uh, from 2012, small groups of students are assigned to a tutor and they attend four tutorials a year designed specifically to stimulate interdisciplinary thinking using entertaining materials like half an hour uh, documentaries uh, by Des Bishop, who's a, a very popular comedian here in Ireland, uh, but he produced a series of short documentaries on our, our problems with alcohol consumption. So we use that, things like that. We use academic papers, different things. And at the end of the year, the students complete the questionnaire used in the research, as it stands, and also they write an essay in their population health module to try and assess their understanding of linking modules and integrating knowledge. And there's some very preliminary results uh, from last year. I've repeated, we've repeated this exercise again this year. But if we look at the question, in your opinion, which modules link together best in the degree, if you look at, draw your attention to this area, the mixed category, these are students who put down modules across the disciplines. They might put down nutrition and sociology. So they've crossed the discipline of, show, of saying they link together. And as you can see there, the red column are the students who received the first year tutorials and they seem to be uh, recognizing more cross-discipline uh, connections. Also, when they were presented with the statement that the BSc aspires to enabling students to integrate knowledge from all disciplinary perspectives. I think you can see again here, if you look at the, to a large extent, they were asked to put it in terms of to a large extent, to a small extent. Um, to a large extent, the red column are the students who've had the uh, tutorial intervention and they seem to be recognising the degree as enabling integration more than the previous year. And finally, a few parting words. Research questions answered. Do students make connections between the disciplines? Yes, they do. And there's quantitative and qualitative evidence there that I've just presented. Is there any evidence that students integrate what they learn into a more holistic view of public health? There is qualitative evidence of this from the focus groups. Difficult to present in the time given, but I'm happy to talk to people afterwards. And I think in essence there is interdisciplinarity in the BSc in public health and health promotion here in UCC. That is a fact, but it is clear also that further work needs to be done and further questions need to be addressed. Thank you. Thanks a minute.